I'm definitely not naturally a morning person, but I've kind of trained myself to be a morning person. So every day I wake up at seven and do a workout or yoga or something just to get my body moving and that wakes me up. But if I didn't have an alarm, I could literally sleep in till 10 every day. Other than food, of course, and smoothies, that makes me feel so energized, but also meditation. So sometimes I'll just wake up, sit on my bed, take about 10 minutes just to keep my eyes closed and think about the day ahead. And that really energizes me for the rest of the day. London can feel really overwhelming and hectic. It's always busy, always so many people. But I just find getting outside and exercising outside if you can as well really helps. My daily mantra is to wait 24 hours before you say anything to kind of in the heat of the moment. I feel like you can always regret things if you just say things there and then and you can easily upset people and you say things that you don't mean. So if I feel agitated about something I always wait 24 hours to actually sit on it and think about it before I say it to that person. I try not to look at social media for about an hour before I go to bed and that really helps to get a better night's sleep so I feel like I just don't need Instagram or Twitter as I'm going to bed. It's so easy to get into that habit of always checking your phone before you sleep but you really don't need it. keeps me motivated is actually my audience more than anything so all of my videos I always go through and read all of the comments if I didn't have that I kind of feel like there was no point in doing what I do so the editing is on point Naomi glad to see your break has given you inspiration for this amazing content that's really great when people actually recognize the hard work that you've put in I just find it really really sweet Oh, and then I saw this one the other day. Naomi reminds me of Audrey Hepburn. And I replied saying, oh my God, that's the best compliment ever. Thank you. But it's so not true. <laughs> but I'll take it. <laughs> it's so hard to predict where I'm going to be in 10 years. Even like one year, I don't know, because every day changes. And that's what's so exciting about my job. That's why I love it. It's so unpredictable in a way, but I see myself having a few more books out, um, still on YouTube, still blogging, traveling, maybe I'll be living in a different country, who knows, but I'm definitely um, gonna be still on YouTube, hopefully. <laughs> working with Glean for about three years now. They're my managers and just help me out really. I wouldn't be able to do what I do without them. I'm probably here about twice a week. I love just bringing my laptop here. I set up at one of the desks and just work all day editing videos, writing blog posts, that kind of thing. I love being in this whole kind of work environment around other people. And when I come here at the end of the day, I go through things that are sent here. So that's what I'm going to do today. Just go through some of my mail. I always love reading people's letters. They're always really sweet. But the best part are always the packages. Oh, this is so perfect. This is a marble chopping board and it's got my initials on it. That's so lovely. Let's see what this one is. Okay, this is from a brand called Tarte, Tarte Cosmetics. So sweet. Wow. Okay, they've sent me so much. This is amazing. So I've got quite a big event coming up in a couple of weeks, so really kindly a couple of designers have sent me these amazing dresses. Generally I feel more comfortable in a nice colour, this one's gorgeous. So now I basically have to decide which one to wear, so I think I'm going to try on a couple and see which one I go with. I'm kind of both flats and heels. I wear heels when I'm going to an event or going out for dinner or something, but then during the day I always just wear flats like boots or trainers. You can definitely learn style. I don't think you're born with it because when I look back in, on photos of when I was about 14, 15 years old, I definitely didn't have style. It's something that you're kind of inspired by as you get older, I think, inspired by different people and different designers and everything. So you can definitely learn it. 
the most recent thing that I bought were a pair of cigarette trousers from Topshop and they were only about £25 and they fit so well so it's like the best buy that I've got in a while. But after trying on those dresses, I think I've decided what one I'm going to go for. I absolutely loved this red one. This is by Outline and I'm just obsessed with this colour. So that's that decided. And now I'm going to go out for dinner with my friends. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to Glamour UK. And if you want more of me, my channel is linked in the description box down below. It's just my own snacks. Bye.